Today's workout is going to be activating the core muscles of your body. We're going to work out for about 10 minutes, just focusing on this region. And this is something that you can really do anywhere. You can do it when you travel, you can do it at home. I'm going to give you a couple modifications along the way. What you need is yourself, your energy, and that. Let's go. We're going to begin by sitting on our glutes. I want you to bend your knees and then imagine like you have sand in your legs. So your feet, your ankles, your legs, they're very heavy with sand. So really try to keep them grounded to the mat. You're going to reach your arms out with energy and you're going to slowly descend down to the back of your mat. The feet are going to want to lift up. But keep imagining that sand holding you down. Eventually you will come to the floor, take an inhale and as you exhale, with energy rise up. Now if your legs really lifted up or if you need some help to get up, that's totally cool. Just place something around your legs, a little bit extra weight, or maybe something between your feet. But otherwise, let's continue on. So here we are. Our arms are reaching out in front of us. Lower, middle, upper core is working as you descend. Take an inhale, exhale, and raise up. The reason we have the arms in front of us is that it gives us something to focus on. It gives us energy to bring forward as we go down and up. And everybody's core and experience through life is different. I mean, for example, I'm eight months postpartum, so I'm still building up that core strength. Crunching and sit-ups feels good for my body right now, but it's still, I can feel a little bit of weakness as I move down and up, so I'm working on building that strength. So just, no matter what you do as you move, just try your very best. Always speak love to yourself. Let's go ahead and do one more. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Energy in the arms. Take your gaze up. Exhale back to the top. Great, guys. We're going to come down onto the floor and we're going to lift our legs above our hips. Now, the legs may be here. Maybe you have more flexibility. If you need to, if your knees are bending because you don't have the flexibility to keep them straight or over the hips, then just keep the knees slightly bent. If you have a lot of flexibility and the legs are lifting up, just take the hips and ground them to the floor. So the idea is to be a tabletop here. Once again, it's totally fine if the knees need to bend, as long as you're trying to lengthen them. So here we go. Arms are over the shoulders, legs are over the hips. My right arm and my left leg are going to lower down at the same time. So it makes our brain think a little bit. You're going to hover above the floor, you're going to engage your core, and you're going to bring it back to the top. Let's keep going with that same arm and same leg that's traveling. Now my opposite extremities, I'm wiggling my toes and fingers here, are holding my table up. So keep them solid, don't let them move. Let's do three more. Those two pieces are holding your table. I want you to engage the core before you come back up. Last one, and rise. Now tell your brain which ones you're gonna move next and then slowly begin to descend. Keep the other two extremities strong, grounded, and back up. There is a natural arch or curve in the lower back, but try not to let it go too extreme so you really are keeping the lower back gently pressed against your mat. Engage in the core. One more time. And then lower the legs down. We're now going to shuffle our arms underneath our body. It opens up our chest and our palms are going to face up. So I want you to take a moment right now and just open your hip flexors, lift your belly, engage your glutes and hamstrings, and engage your core. So we're going to stay in this position. We're now going to take our left leg and we're going to go onto the tippy toes and see if you can try to lift that leg up and balance on the other leg. So you are working a lot of leg muscles, but definitely a lot of core from the balance. Slowly lower that leg down, and then switch to the other side. All while maintaining an open chest. We're going to do 10 of these, that's two. Keep those hips lifted. Keep pressing through the heel of the grounded foot. There's all these different ways that you can work your core. So right now I'm really concentrating on all the muscles above my hips and right below my ribs. Halfway. Keep those hips lifted. Keep pressing through the heel of the bottom foot. We have 
Two more. Last one. And then lower it down. Okay, we're gonna go back into a crunch leg position or sit up position. So my arms are now gonna be above my head. I'm gonna imagine like I'm grabbing some oars and we're gonna move through the resisted water. So I have my oars, I'm gonna come up, bend my knees, pull my arms through the water, slowly come down. Similar to the first movement we started with, but now we're getting more lift from our body. We're gonna bring the knees into the chest, use your arms energy, push through the water, and slowly go down. We're gonna do 10, so it's four. If you need a modification, you can always lift one leg and then go down. Continue to breathe. Breathing really does help to increase the energy and the movement, give you more power. Three, that. Last two. Stay up on this last one, guys. And just hold it for three, two, and one. Great. So remain on top, and now we're going to shift over. We're going to do two more movements. My forearms are going to be on the floor. I'm going to walk my toes back. Modifications for planks are always on the knees. You can also do other ones, so that's just one suggestion. So I'm going to look over the cliff, and then I'm going to push back on my toes. My hips don't raise up right now. I'm going to stay in the same elevation. And I go over and back. So let's do this five times together, nice and slow. And begin. This is a slow moving exercise. Hug in the lower belly. Use your toes. Let's do two more, one regular. And then this last one, we're just gonna hold it for five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Good job. Check it out. The last one we got going on here is I'm going to raise my right arm. I'm going to raise my left leg. And if this is the beginning part, so this is a modification, you can stay here. If you want to add a little something, you're going to take that side leg and you're going to bring it laterally and back. So from a side view, my right arm is forward, my left leg is back, and then you can either stay here or you can swing that leg five times. So now we're finding balance using our core as we move our leg. You're also working the sides. One more time. And bring it back in. So take your time as you move. Extend the leg, extend the opposite arm. Either hold it here and concentrate on the deep core or begin to move the leg without losing balance of your body. Five, four, Three, keep reaching the arm and leg. Last one. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. If you want more full length videos, check out our website, soulpumpfitness.com, where we upload 30 minute workout videos and we do the whole thing with you. We also have our prenatal movement series on there if you're pregnant and at home. Have a wonderful day, always in love.